Hey everybody, my name's Jay. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about 55 gallon fuel storage. Okay, so this is our translucent um, 55 gallon barrel. This is gas rated. It has two bunk caps here. And this is the base we put on that we can move. I have a Kubota B extractor. I can put the uh, forks underneath, pick this up, and move this around wherever I please. Right now it's sitting in one of my woodsheds covered from the sun and just from the elements. So today um, I'm going to show you the issue I ran into and how we're going to solve that today. So this is our pump. Uh, I got this from my father. This is like an heirloom pump. This is a very old, at least 20 something years old. Um, this is, I believe, a fill right. Hold on, let me look for the, uh, it's got a tag on it somewhere here. Oh yeah, right here, right on the top. It is a uh, fill right division series 5200 model number F are as in Frank Romeo 162 anyways um, my dad has had this pump for at least 20 something years I remember this as a kid he finally gave it to me so we're blessed to have it but anyways this is the adapter that slides on and this and this pump sits right in here it's keyed pretty much keyed and it's got these um, set screws here to prevent it from walking but the issue is when we got our 55 gallon drum we filled it right to the top the problem was is that this, the threads on this barrel are different compared to a regular metal 55 gallon barrel. So that's what this convenient barrel here is for. We're gonna swap out this clear barrel. I like the clear barrel. I got it listed here as far as gallons, you could see. But um, anyways, the pump doesn't really work. I had it in there loose. Uh, we've already used 50 gallons of water, or 50 gallons of gas since the last video. So anyways, we're gonna swap this out. We're gonna make a couple modifications to the base and then we're gonna thread this new pump on. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get our pump out of the way. And the really cool thing about this pump, let me show you guys here, this telescope's here. So whether you have a 55 gallon drum or I have actually a 20 gallon barrel in the shed, I can use this pump for both, so that's pretty neat. So anyways, we're gonna put our collar on. We're gonna get this out of the way for now. And let's pull this off of here. We're gonna see if our metal barrel will fit. All right, so we got the clear barrel out of the way. Let's see if we can get lucky. Oh, would you look at that. Fits like a glove. All right, so before we go any farther, we know that our barrel fits, that's good. So that way in the future, when I figure out that bung cap, um, I can swap barrels, no problem. But anyways, one thing I'm gonna do, and I didn't make note of this in the last video was, this is a square edge right here on this 4x4. The problem was is when I try to drag this out of the bed of the truck, it actually caught the lip and tilted up. And I don't, want, I don't know about you, but I don't want to spill 55 gallons of fuel anywhere. So I'm thinking if we can put a miter on this to relieve some of that um, angle, when we drag this around, we have to pull it off the truck a little bit to clear the tailgate, and then we lift it. If we put a 45 on there, we shouldn't have any issues. So let's drag this over here to the shed and let's see if we can uh, make some adjustments. All right, let's see what we can come up with. All right, so what I think we wanna do is, I think a standard uh, 45 degree angle probably be sufficient. Yeah, something like that. That way, uh, when we pull this off the truck, this is a nice, uh, sloped edge it shouldn't catch anything so let's go ahead and get the skill saw see if we could zip these four corners off all right so as you can see we got those cleated now like a sled that way if we drag this off the truck it's not going to catch anything or also if we drag it out of the one of the woodsheds but one thing i want to add and i didn't do last time is um i have no holes in the bottom of this for drainage um god forbid we get rain snow moisture this is going to sit outside it should be covered but obviously mother nature works in mysterious ways so we can get water in here. So we got just a paddle bit here. We're just gonna make some four holes in the corner and drill a couple holes in the base here to allow uh, water to get out. So as you can see, we got some holes drilled 
uh, three on the sides, middle, we got one on the bottom here in case you get water underneath the barrel. So yeah, let's go ahead and get back to, let's bring it back over there and stick the barrel back on. Alright, so now we got that at the base back in its home. Let us get a barrel now. Ugh! Wow, would you look at that. It's almost as if I actually measured and, and <laughs> planned for this. Sweet. Alright, so let's go ahead and um, let's move on to the pump now. Okay, so let's move on to our pump here. Take our bung wrench. Got this on Amazon for like $20. So, okay, so now that we got our bung cap out, this is the piece I was talking about. This is your threaded insert. This is what actually threads into the barrel. And then it's got three eighths little uh, set screws here on the side. So, as you can see, that actually fits. The issue we had was it wouldn't fit into the, um, into the, composite drum there for what reason I don't know why but anyways so we're gonna thread that on there hand tight I don't foresee you needing to wrench the crap out of it I mean I'm sure you could tape it and tighten it this barrel isn't going anywhere anyways that's that so let's take our pump here now first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna extend it and our barrel is empty so it doesn't really matter you would normally extend that all the way down And then you see how that sits in there. So now, as far as ergonomics, um, this barrel is going to stay here probably for the most part, um, for the most for the next extended period of time um, until I find a better spot for it. I'm trying to build like a lean-to off the side of the side of the shed because this is a firewood shed, so I don't really like it in here. But it actually works out pretty nice. So let me show you guys how nice this actually is. So as you can see here, we are next to the woodsheds. Now, we can pull up. This is obviously for gas. Uh, I don't need a 55 gallons of diesel. We don't run the tractor that much. But anyways, this is for the wood splitter, the four wheeler, the lawn mower, whatever, whatever I come across. But it's a pretty nice setup. If you look at this pump here, this nozzle, this nozzle has a little lip here and it actually fits in and stays there. So the whole unit is independent. You don't have a hose hanging on the ground, but this is a pretty good setup because we can basically, um, we can pull up, let's say the four wheeler, we could put the hose in and then using our left hand, we could pump back and forth the fuel into whatever. Or if I need to, um, if I need to um, fill up a generator or something or fill up a, a, the fuel cans, the five gallon fuel jugs, but just to sum up, um, let me know what you guys think, first of all. I think this is the most practical way. Um, a lot of people are probably going to say, oh, they make you know 55 gallon barrels with casters on it. But the problem is, is I have no tar around here. I don't have a garage. We don't have any tar. We live in dirt in the you know middle of the woods. So what? why I like this so much and why I'm really happy with this is that I can move this if need be. I can load this in the back of a truck. Let's say we had to go somewhere. Say I had to go to, I don't know, my brother-in-law's or whatever because he you know, needed fuel or whatever. I could load this in the back of the truck and have 55 gallons that I could pump into various different, you know, containers. Or the, re the main reason why I built this is for come wintertime with the generator, um, I work nights. I work a weird schedule. Um, so my wife can operate this or my father-in-law or mother-in-law or my mom, my dad, whoever, again, whoever was here, let's say I wasn't here to run the generator they can actually take this, stick it in, and hand pump it. You don't need to be a weightlifter to actually, you know, uh, use this setup. So, and I can pick this up with the tractor, bring it over, and drop it right next to the generator. Let's say we had the power was out. I have 55 gallons of fuel on standby next to the generator. That's a pretty sweet deal. And there's a safety mechanism here so you can lock the units. Let me show you that next. So this, this pump actually has, and I remember... <laughs> My dad, I had the, my dad used to have a, a pro stock race car. He used to race at a local track here in New Hampshire. Um, and he used to have the um, non-ethanol race fuel in the drums. That's where this pump came from. This pump, like I said, is over, um, is over 20 years old. But coming around here, sorry for the cut here, but as you can see here, this pump has a latch that goes through and you could put a padlock here, which will prevent you from actually pumping out the fuel. 
Uh, so just an added safety measure. Again, we live in the woods. We have no neighbors. So, I mean, I'm not super worried about it. But let's say somebody, you know, rolls in here middle of the night. Let's say nobody's home. They're not going to steal my fuel. So at least I know that. I can put a padlock in this and I know it's safe. So just wanted to add that feature in. Again, if you're wondering, I don't even know if they still make this pump. But here's the information. Hopefully you can see that. Depending on the editing, I will uh, take a picture of it and post it. Or overlay it. Alright, so anyways, I really hope you guys enjoyed that video. Let me know what you guys think. I think this is a super cool setup. It's 55 gallons. It doesn't take up. Imagine having um, 11 5-gallon jugs. That would fill up the whole shed. These 55-gallon drums, they don't take up that much space. It's portable. It has a pump on it. My family can use it. Anybody can use it. Um, I think this is a win in my book. We still bought, got probably one more video series on this. Um, I have one more idea just to secure it, but we're not going to do that in today's video. Um, we're going to save that for the next video. So anyways, if you appreciate, I appreciate you guys watching. Let me know what you guys think. Um, yeah, now's the time. Winter's around the corner, so time to start stocking up. So anyways, appreciate you guys watching. Let me know what you guys think. I'm super happy with it. I think it's a sweet setup. So yeah, let me know. Appreciate you guys watching. Leave a comment below and stay safe. God bless. And we will see you on the next video.